Audrey in the morning, afternoon, or evening, or whenever we decide to film this. Hi, I'm Kate. And I'm Audrey. And this is, is our, our podcast, podcast in, in the, the streets, streets with Kate, Kate and Audrey. Audrey. I remembered our name this week. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Today, we have a super special guest. The first one of this season. First one of the season. It is Isaac! Isaac! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac, what's your name? Isaac. Great. Where are you from? Vancouver. Uh, What's your favorite color? Green. Green? Yeah. Best color. Best color. Okay. Debatable. Debatable. All right. You're all wrong. (laughs) So, Isaac, anything you want to start off the the podcast with? Or do we just want to get straight into the wheel spinning? I think the wheel. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Audrey, where are you from? Today, I am from... (laughs) (laughs) I don't think I can notice. <laughs> I am from Faro, Portugal. Wow. Yeah. What's it like there? It's actually very cool. Um, it's it's actually very beautiful because it's in Portugal, of course. Of course. Um, it's about an hour out of Lisbon and it's right on the Atlantic Ocean. Um, a lot of people think that the Atlantic Ocean is going to be nice and warm, though, uh, because it's in Portugal. But it's actually freezing because it's the Atlantic Ocean and not the Mediterranean. So that's a fun, fun thing for the tourists when they they love it. Of course, Uh, it's a fun realization. But it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful town in Portugal, Um, and it's just it's so gorgeous. Uh, Have you guys ever been to Faro, Portugal? Can't say that I have. No. (laughs) Well, unfortunately, no. We'll have to go though. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely go. Book the plane tickets for this summer. (laughs) Oh yeah. Podcasts on the road. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> on the road to all of Audrey's hometowns. <laughs> all of them. Even the ones that aren't real. Yeah. <laughs> Limerisk will be a tough one. <laughs> yeah. But we'll make it there. Whether it kills us or not, we'll be there. Hopefully we'll make it there a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers <laughs> crossed. Um, all right. Well, we can get the wheel spinning. Um, yeah, we'll spin <laughs> the wheel. <laughs> Off it goes. Wow. Majestic. Silence. <laughs> the immortal, immortal snail. snail. We were gonna rig the wheel and then we just did it, <laughs> we, so we forgot. We're Oops. gonna talk about the immortal snail. Um, do you know, you know what that is? the immortal snail? No idea. Okay, so basically, it started on Reddit about four. Oh, five you know years the ago? history. Oh, history. Yeah. <laughs> about four, five, six years ago, maybe. Um, and it was like a would you rather, and it was like, would you rather be given like a hundred, like, a hundred dollars every day for the rest of your life, or be infinitely rich and live for an infinite amount of time, but there's an immortal snail who knows exactly where you are at all times, (laughs) just following you all the time, and if it touches you, you die. And you can't kill the snail, and it's just traveling at a nice snail pace. Yeah. And the snail, like, this snail will go continent to continent, like, you're not stopping this thing. What's the other option? A hundred dollars, like... A day until you die. Yeah. I think other option... You wouldn't, you wouldn't go for the immortal snail. Wait, what comes with the immortal snail again? Uh, unlimited money. <laughs> unlimited money, unlimited time. No. Why have unlimited money if you live in fear your entire <laughs> life? I wouldn't live in fear, though. I would. <laughs> 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 Who wants an it's immortal a snail? S- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's determined. <laughs> <laughs> if you live on the salt flats, it would have a terrible time getting to you. But it's hire, immortal. Hire a couple bodyguards that sole purpose is to look out for the snail. Exactly. You have... Chilling. Yeah, but then I don't have privacy because I have bodyguards. Everywhere. Actually, I wonder if I fly all the time. Like, if I live in a jet, Oh. how will this thing get to me? That's true. Will it also get on a jet? <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> That's a really good question. I think I beat it. I think I won. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so... Anyways. That's the whole thing. Yeah. And then a bunch of people started um, making yeah. videos about the snail coming at them, and now there's, like, a couple songs. Like, I think So This Is Christmas yeah. <laughs> is just about the snail now. So if you hear that, it's a snail. It's a snail. The snail's on the way. It's coming to get you. Yeah. There was one, one of my favorite videos about the immortal snail was this guy. He was, like, super excited that he finally found himself an immortal wife. And then at the wedding, the the wife turns out to be the snail, <laughs> and then you just watch the snail touch <laughs> the room. It kills me every time. I think it's really funny. People are creative. Yeah, I love the directions people are taking it. And whenever I see a snail, I take a photo of it. I'm like, ah, the snail's coming to get me. That's funny. 
Yeah. <laughs> Maybe every time you take a picture of a snail, it's the same snail. And fo- so from the snail's perspective, you're the immortal human. Oh, that's a twist. What if I touch the snail and the snail dies? I mean, then you you're might. the snail. Yeah. And I'm the immortal snail. You're the, the immortal. real snail was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> <Yes>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was that. We keep putting topics on the wheel that have no sustenance. <laughs> <laughs> it's just things we like. We like. <laughs> we like. Yeah. Just things that bring us <laughs> thoughts. Um, it let's, sparks joy. Let's yeah. uh, spin Kondo the it. real the wheel in a totally real way, and definitely yeah. not a prompted question from me at the end of it. <laughs> Go. Wow. Wow. What a mystery. <laughs> wow. 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 What are the odds that we're not going to talk about that? <laughs> we're going to talk about um, Patronuses. Patronuses. Very relevant. And Any Harry Potter her. fans out there? Uh, you can't respond. <laughs> <laughs> Cheer <But> now <laughs> if you're a Harry Potter fan. Wow. Wow. Um, <laughs> we all enjoy Harry Potter. We don't enjoy We do not JK enjoy J.K. Rowling. Rowling. JK we don't Rowling. like her. We don't stand. Nope. I was going to say some words that wouldn't be allowed on the podcast. Nope, I would cut them out. So, <laughs> just for a disclaimer. It's the Wagner dilemma. What? Love the art, hate the artist. Oh, yeah. Separating the art from the artist. It's the Wagner the dilemma. Yeah. Wagner was a raging Nazi. Oh. But an amazing composer. Anyway. Love, <laughs> love the art, hate yeah. the artist. Death to the, death to the artist. Harry um, Potter has a special place in yeah. all of our hearts and childhoods. Yeah. So we're going to talk about our Patronuses because personally I took the test when I was like 12. <laughs> I took it when I was 13. So JK took my money and ran with it. <laughs> Can I tell you guys a joke? Of course. <laughs> Is it relevant? Yes, it's very relevant. Okay. Um, how did Harry Potter get down the hill? I don't know. How did he get down the hill? Walking JK Rowling. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Thank you. I appreciate that. That one was clever. Um, Audrey, what's your Patronus? My Patronus is, um, it's got a name. It's a Russian hunting dog. I think it's called a Brozoi. A Brozoi? Yeah. Sorry. Um, wow, what are the odds that I have the information about that Patronus <laughs> pulled up on Google right now? That means that you are someone who's easygoing, often quiet, and possessive. <laughs> 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 this is a what? You are content being alone. <laughs> <laughs> Not a single one of those things is true. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> Good sense of humor. I don't think any of our Patronus is this very well, guys. I was reading this and I was like, oh. Yeah, I can't stand being alone. I need to be with people all the time. I'm very loud. And what was the other one? Uh, you've good sense of humor. I have great sense that, of humor. That one's true. Yeah, that, that, one's true. One's, that one's factual. I'm very funny, as seen through, as evidenced through the joke I just delivered. And it's 19 on the top 20 Patronuses. Damn. So I don't know what that okay. means. But no, basically, the Borzois are those, like, dogs that are, they look like little Russian ladies. Long noses. Um, yeah. yeah. Do you know the the Miss Piggy song, the Let Me Do It For You? It's from Miss Piggy? Yeah, yeah. Miss Piggy sings it. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Fun fact. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Why is she saying Kermie? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, I just got it. I just got it. Uh, but on TikTok right now, or I guess wherever you're getting your information and your yeah. memes, um, there's like this animation thing of the dog's yeah, we nose. we play the sound. Yeah, we add it on our soundboard. Let me do it for you. Kermie. So, um, um, so that's that Audrey's. dog is my Patronus. Yeah. So if you've heard that before, go you. If you haven't, I'm so sorry. That would make no sense. But that's yeah. Audrey. Yeah. Isaac, what are you? I'm a bat. Wow, what are the odds I also have the information yeah. on a bat? <laughs> the bat has been said to represent rebirth and de- depth, um, though it has com- is commonly associated with fear. Having the bat as your Patronus means that you are strengthened by fear. I'm terrifying. <laughs> That's all you get, too. Oh, Audrey okay. Audrey got, like, a list of things. Um, <laughs> That's all the information. I'm strengthened oh. by fear? What does that even yeah, mean? <laughs> You're very social within your circles. That's true. But that's true for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Are you a Ravenclaw, by chance? Yes. It's, it's most often associated with Ravenclaws. Okay. Audrey, what, what house are you in? I'm a Hufflepuff. Me, too. Yeah, slay. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, there's nothing, there's really nothing about the bat that I think. <laughs> That's it, there's nothing, nothing to it. You up are, to interpretation. Right, up to interpretation, exactly. You take it in your own creative direction. Yes. Okay, what, what's your Patronus? I am a bloodhound. Oh, um, which I also have the info. <laughs> it, usually very smart and do well in their hobbies and academics. They thrive on a well thought out work schedule. Absolutely not. <laughs> um, they're notoriously stubborn, uh, which is a good thing apparently because they stand behind their belief or their friends no matter what. So I'm, I just am a dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's telling me. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't do schedules, but that's okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. that was our. There we yeah, go. those are the Patronuses. Hey, did no you guys one... watch or read Harry Potter growing up? Yeah, I did. No, we just all were like, you know what? I need to know. Yeah, no, no, I'm just trying to... <laughs> That's what I did. I didn't read or watch the movie. You haven't seen them? I've seen the seventh movie and I've read the first book. Why? Why did you watch the seventh movie? Because my siblings were really into Harry Potter, so I know enough about it. And they were the ones who made me do the test because my both my siblings were really into Harry Potter. And so um, they were watching the seventh movie with my grandmother, and I just joined them for the seventh movie. That's such an odd place to start. <laughs> it's like right at the war. <laughs> I know. But it was a good movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> and you didn't go and watch the other ones. No. Nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isaac, have you seen and watched, read all of them? Uh, there was a phase in my life where all I would read was Harry Potter. Okay, same. Um, and so I would get through the seven books, and then I'd restart. Oh. And um, <laughs> they had to ban me from reading them at my school, both elementary school and the beginning of high school. They, because um, we didn't have middle school. It was just elementary yeah, and then yeah. high school. And um, so they banned me from reading Harry Potter because I was just reading it too much. You were addicted to Harry Potter. I was addicted to Harry Potter, yeah. <laughs> I was that kid. Opposite ends of the spectrum here. (laughs) So if you ask me trivia, I'll probably know the answer to it, which is kind of sad. I kind of want to pull up. I know. I want to. I want to test this theory. I was gonna before you do though. I was gonna say, the the Patronuses are an interesting thing because they're kind of supposed to be personality test, except they fail in all regards because they're not. They're they're kind of and don't come at me, but they're kind of like. Um, what's the, the star charts? Oh, zodiac signs? <laughs> yeah. Astrology, yeah. Astrology? They're kind of like astrology. What's your sign, Isaac? Um, I'm not gonna say it. Oh. No, I'm not gonna say it. That's very... I've gotten judged for it before. Wait, oh, wait, okay. I'm lost now. He's a Pisces. Oh, your star <laughs> sign. You are, That's are very you not Pisces a Pisces? I am a Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> I once, I once got told... You're such a Pisces! <laughs> I once got told that, um, that... Pisces males are, are toxic. <laughs> um, That's so. Well, loud. I'm a Pisces guy, so. <laughs> Sorry, Isaac. Um, astrology's whack. Yeah, I think it's really funny to um, pretend that I know things about astrology. So I'll say random times like, "Oh, you're such a Cancer rising." Hey, you were right. <laughs> I know, but I just based on your birthday, I tried Uh-oh. to deduce it. Yeah, no, that's accurate. <laughs> I got some Harry Potter trivia going, and I don't know the answers to a lot of these. And I read the books a couple times and watched the movies. Okay, well, if I don't know the answers, we'll just cut it. If you don't know the answers, then I give it a guess. Yeah, of course, it's multiple choice. Oh, great. Um, what do Hermione's parents do for a living? Dentists. They're bankers. Bankers wasn't even an option. They're dentists. Um, sure. It doesn't tell me if you're right or wrong. Oh. That was an option. It tells me the end, but there's 20, so I don't know if we want to do 20 questions. <laughs> um, what color is Fleur Delacour's Yule Brawl dress. Blue. Silver, I think. Yeah, silver gray, I think. Oh. It's one of the options. Blue isn't an option. Um, who, What is Neville's mom's name? Jean. I actually don't know. Pretty sure it's Alice? Yeah, it is Alice, I think. So it's what are the Jean options? Um... Delphi, Alice, Wendy, Clementine. Yeah, it's Alice. Alice was the most familiar to me. Alice Longbottom, yeah, I remember that. What is Sirius Black's middle name? John. I don't know this either. There's Orion. That doesn't say Beetlejuice, but it looks like it does. Bastable, and he doesn't have one. I'm going to say Orion. I don't okay. know. Let's go with Orion. It. What is... <laughs> it's not going to tell me the answer until the end. That's true. Black's middle name. Uh, he doesn't have one. Oh. <laughs> At least it's never mentioned. So that was a trick question. 
what is Seamus Finnegan's blood status? Half blood, I think. How do you know that? Um, is he? I don't know. It won't tell me. <laughs> this is a really bad quiz. Um, what is the first spell we ever see Ron do? When guarding Leviosa. That's not an option. Oh. It's um, a spell to multiply sweets, a spell to tie his shoelaces, a spell to turn his pet yet rat yellow. That one. Or yeah, a that's spell to keep does. warm. The, the sure. yellow one. Yellow. I read the first book. Uh, what is Molly Weasley's maiden name? It starts with a P. Yeah. Pre-wet? Pre-wet. Pewter. Pewet. 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 P-R-E-W-E-T-T. Yeah. Or Badger or Somerville or Hearn. Pewet. In the Philosopher's Stone, what animal falls out of the Christmas cracker Harry pulls? Uh, goose. No. <laughs> what are the options? Just, yeah. Hamsters, dormice, white mice, shrews. It's white mice, I think. Okay, um, maybe not. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what What is Draco Malfoy's wand made of? Uh, Unicorn? Dragon. Cherry, Hawthorne, Willow, or you? Oh. No, I don't know. It's Willow. <laughs> no... No Draco Malfoy stands in the room? No. Are you a Drury fan? No. Are you? No. <laughs> um, I don't want to do any more of these, but it won't give me the answers, so I'm just going to say, Isaac, you got 100%. <laughs> Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, Isaac. Unless you want to do Hermione's birthday. April 1st. I do not know that. April it's 8th. not, but you know who is born April 1st? The one. Weasley twins. Oh. I do know that. Um, and that's why they're such pranksters, right? Yeah, Is that's that the why they thing, explain yeah. it? Yeah, I see, I see, I see, I see what was done. That makes there. an odd amount of sense. Yeah. It was part of the plot. It was great. Anyways, that was our Harry Potter segment. So if you <laughs> didn't read Harry Potter, I'm so sorry, but yeah. it sucks to suck, I guess. Get on that. I'll um, work on including it. you, Audrey. <laughs> I'm working on that. Um, I mean we can spin the wheel one more time. Of course. Is this one we wish to rig again or? I thought we were going to have a conversation about Grey's Anatomy. Okay, we can go. It's right there. I see it. Yeah. We're going to spin it. We're going to get it right now. Wow. That's definitely Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy! What? What? (laughs) Um, Isaac, have you seen Grey's Anatomy? Yes. (laughs) How many times? Um, earlier seasons, many. Later (laughs) seasons... Mostly just once. Have you, are you caught up with Grey's Anatomy? Yes. How many seasons are there? It's a very good question. <laughs> There's like 18 or something like that. Like I think wild. there are 18, yeah. I've never seen it. Kate, have you ever seen it? Uh, I've seen episodes on and off. My mom was a big Grey's Anatomy stan. So, here and there. Yeah. And I've seen, I think, the entire first season. Okay. What's it about? Doctors. <laughs> Was that a genuine question? Yeah, it's a real question. I don't, <laughs> I don't know anything. I have an idea that it. it's vaguely about doctors, but I've seen so many like, like, videos on like Instagram and whatnot that are like, a, like a super dramatized version of Grey's Anatomy where there's like a bomb in the hospital. Or well, something. that does happen. And that then they go happen. absolutely wild. So I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> there's an episode where their plane crashes on an island and it kills like half. It's of them. not an island. Where are they? The middle of the forest. <laughs> Either way, they're in a plane and it crashes. And, like, this poor... So, poor Meredith Grey. This <laughs> 18 seasons of absolute terrible, like, working conditions. Not fun. She goes through everything. Is she unionized? I don't know. Uh, she... Her I husband don't think dies. So. Her husband hey, dies? Hey, spoilers, guys. <laughs> Sorry. How are you supposed to have a topic conversation? Respect the, the audience. You can't just go spoiling the show. <laughs> What's the husband's name? Derek. Derek, terrible. Spoilers, man. Isaac. <laughs> Derek is a R.I.P. Derek. 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 It's too late now. Everyone yeah. already knows. Um, do they have kids? <laughs> yes. I don't remember. They oh, do. Oh no! And how are the kids doing? There's three kids. Three? <laughs> yeah. How are they doing? I think they're doing okay. <laughs> do you know them personally? I don't know. <laughs> does the main character get Meredith Grey? Is whatever. You, yeah. yeah. Does Meredith get to go on maternity leave? Or does she have the kids at the start of the show? I think she runs away she, at some point. She doesn't have the kids at the start of the show. No, she, no, no. She has to develop the relationship with Derek yeah. first. It's a whole thing. Oh. It's like the whole, basically the whole plot of the first few seasons. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And so, wait, so, oh my gosh, I have so many questions now. <laughs> so, so does she go on maternity leave at all? Or does she I don't like, want to give any spoilers. Well, she has these, you've already said <laughs> that they have kids. So, so she keeps 
working throughout her... I think so, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she doesn't get a break. She's the main character, so they said, you're just gonna work. It doesn't matter. Or they talking about her, like, seasons. her... No, 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 I'm talking about, like, in the show. Yeah. Does Meredith get maternity? Yeah, I don't think that's so. what we're saying. Oh. She might not, because she's the main character, and so they didn't... You know, how do you write that in? Off-season. R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> and what are these kids' names? First one's named Zola. Then oh. there's Bailey and Ellis. Ah. Isn't Bailey another character's name? Yeah, they named the kid after the character. Does character Bailey die? And that's why they named the kid Bailey in honor of this dead Bailey? Spoilers. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I can't tell you anything. <laughs> I'm so curious. I'm never going to watch these 18 seasons <laughs> of this show. Yeah, thing. but the audience might. Everybody's like, you got to get on this. I'm like, 18 seasons? Yeah, it, it stops getting good about so season 12, in my opinion. I mean, other <laughs> so people do long. like it. But... Like, I'm a criminal mind stan, and I think that's at like 16 seasons. Can't do it. It's so long. There's yeah. just so many. It's just so much. Also, like, it, it does eventually get repetitive because you can only do so many plots. Yeah. Only so many plane crashes. <laughs> Only so many patients How many with wild planes diagnosis. Have crashed? There was one plane crash and one almost plane crash in oh. Grey's Anatomy. Did Meredith save pilot the plane to safety or something? In the second one? <laughs> yeah. Oh no, there was just turbulence. Actually maybe it wasn't a plane crash. There was a lot of turbulence and they had to do surgery. Of course. During turbulence on a plane. <laughs> of course. Were you on the edge of your seat? I I was. <laughs> I was really worried about this guy when they had to stick a straw in his head. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Are they boat crashes? Does a boat turtle? Um, no, but a car goes off a cliff. Oh. Oh, just so, You know, like, I'm sitting here like, wow, this is so wild. This is if I don't watch, like, 911 or, like, <laughs> Chicago Fire, where they're, like, every second episode, there's, like, a bomb on a cliff <laughs> and an avalanche. Have you ever seen Scorpion? I have not. No. Oh, I love Scorpion. What's the plot? Um, it's basically this group of... It's based on real life, so it's based on true events. It's this, well... Wait. N- fictionalized true events. Is it that really smart, dude? Yeah, it's the, I did watch yeah, this. Yeah, no, it's a group of geniuses who get hired by, like, intelligence services and, you know, government agencies to solve problems. Yeah. Um, ah. And so they're like... One episode, they'll be in, like, a nuclear reactor, and the next, yeah. they'll be, like, ziplining across a Las Vegas skyscraper. Ah. And, um, I can't watch it, because I it's, don't have access it, to it. It's been taken off of everything. I started yeah. watching it, and then all of a sudden, it just didn't exist anymore, and I was like, oh, I guess But it's, it's so gone. good. It was a good I show. I really loved that show. Dang. And so, when it pops back up on a streaming service, <laughs> I will be enjoying it again. Are you, like, big into medical shows, or does Grey's Anatomy just, you know, snatch you? I like Grey's, because I, I got into it when I was younger, so I mm. kind of developed an emotional attachment to it. You know how that yeah. happens. And then also, I really like House. Oh, yeah. Um, but for the most part, not a huge medical show kind of person. Yeah. I kind of watch a bit of everything. Fair enough. Yeah. Audrey, are you into the medical disaster shows <laughs> no i'm not i've never seen any i don't think um i think the closest i've ever seen to a medical disaster show would be um drew gooden's video on that you're one. already quite far <laughs> off <laughs> drew gooden's video on that one hype house medical show that's like oh you know what I'm i know about? exactly what you're talking about like, and dixie the Melios in it or something in it, someone's in it someone's some like some some of the tiktokers from back in the day were in yeah, it like, i say back in the day this was two years ago um <laughs> and it's really poorly done it was yeah like it was on ripoff. youtube yeah, yeah exactly and the, it's like it was yeah that's your introduction to the medical <laughs> show world i watched drew watch that <laughs> wonderful yeah that's that's how i that's my only connection there with that you should get on this. I should. Maybe I will start. Yeah. You should watch a couple I'm... episodes before every podcast. Yeah. And you can start with like a, a review of where you <laughs> Audrey, how did you find last night's episode? <laughs> I think you actually would like Grace. Okay. It's like straight I'll up your alley. Shot. Yeah. All right. It's just so long. <laughs> just like really you don't long. have to watch all of it. Just like watch yeah. one season and see how all you right. feel. The first season's actually pretty short. It's where like can eight one episodes. watch Grace Anatomy? It's on Netflix. Netflix. Okay. Yeah. Well, if Netflix a... doesn't kick me out of the family then yeah apparently they're not doing that anymore yeah, yeah there's so much backlash i emailed my sister well I, I 
not email. I text my sister about this because she lives in Montreal. Yeah. I live in the greatest city in the world. <laughs> and um, the rest of my family lives in uh, Vancouver. Yeah. And so, like, we all st- share the same Netflix account. Yeah, exactly. But if this... It, and we're all one family, so we yeah. fall under their category. Yeah, we're exactly. not like we're not like cheating the system or anything. We are one family. Yeah. But we live in different places. Yeah. And we bought it when we all lived at home in Vancouver. But now we've all moved. Yeah. And so I don't know how that would even work. Yeah. Netflix is just wild for wanting to do that. I mean yeah. it, I would have just not used it anymore because my, I'm the only person that lives in the greatest city of the world. My yeah. brothers live in the same city as my parents. Yeah. So they were all chilling. They were like, yeah, sucks to suck for you, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. Also, Netflix is just, it doesn't have a lot of great stuff anymore, I find. Yeah. I really... Disney there's... Plus Superior. Yeah. I'm, I, I like Disney Plus. I haven't seen anything off of Disney Plus recently because I don't have the Disney Plus. You can use mine. Thank you. I will steal yours. That's um... exactly what they're trying <laughs> to do. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't admit that on the podcast. <laughs> You're so right. Isaac. I mean, I don't share passwords. That no, would be I'll just wrong. I'll just use Kate's computer. Or you buy your own or- is what you should say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but I really want to stick around on the Netflix so I can watch season two of Shadow and Bone. Oh. So I really like Shadow and Bone, and the second season is coming out in March, and I really, really want to see it. Yeah, Netflix has the odd good original. Yeah. And then a lot of Riverdale. Yeah. So oh, and then yeah. all of exactly. every single like. Hallmark fake rip-off movie yeah, ever. And like, there you go. Netflix. Yeah. Remember okay. when it was on a CD? No. No? <laughs> I don't remember when it was on a CD personally. No. How old are you? <laughs> we just went to video stores. Like in my early childhood, even when um, Netflix was like actually Netflix. Oh. Um, for the longest time, we went to video stores and we would buy video. We went to the library and rented yeah. from the library. I remember doing that a lot. A lot of Teletubbies. I think we had a Netflix CD because I remember seeing Netflix on our Wii, and we didn't have a CD player. Oh, so the only way to use I didn't CDs even know it was, was a Wii. CD. I thought it was Blockbuster continued. No, you they would mail you a CD and you could put your CD in your CD player and then you'd have access to all of oh. the stuff. All of it? Yeah. Whatever it they all had on CD, there. Whatever oh. they had. But, I mean, they didn't have much back in the day cuz Netflix what if, is, it was like right when it was first starting and then they moved on to being a streaming service. Wait, how much was one CD? Because if you've access to like 70 things, how can it Oh, it was like a monthly subscription. So they'd send you a new CD every month or something. Oh, that makes and more so, sense. I feel like there was probably only like six things on it, though. Yeah, I don't know how much they would... I mean, like, I don't remember watching Netflix on a CD, but I vaguely remember it being a CD, and I also remember seeing Netflix on our Wii. That doesn't mm. even come up when I Google it. I Netflix CD? No, it just gives me the soundtrack to Stranger Things. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Okay, oh, but Stranger Things... Very good. I I, seen I was super into Stranger Things for season one and two, and then I fell off, and mm. I'm not even allowed to you. I haven't finished the new season. I've seen bits and pieces, and I will watch it all the way through once they put season five out, because then it's a completed show. But And it was really well done. Oh, no, like, it's amazing. It's one of the reasons, like, I, 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 we were talking about, like, not Netflix not having interesting things anymore. And, like, to some degree, I, I get that, and mm-hmm. I, like... I agree. But then, it, you know, there will be the occasional amazing yeah. show. Yeah. And just things like Stranger Things are why, you know, I'm willing to continue paying for it. Well, exactly. I'm not paying. My yeah. parents are. <laughs> why, I'm con- why my family is continuing to pay for this. Yeah. Because yeah. there'll be the amazing, a couple amazing shows and it'll be enough yeah. to contain our attention, if that yeah. makes sense. I know that once my parents stop paying for my Netflix, I will not be anymore. Because I, I can't do it. I gotta yeah. pick between Netflix and Disney. It's gonna be Disney. Yeah. Disney's got way more. It's got your brand loyalty. It does. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's got me. It snatched me. Also not a Walt Disney stan, for the record. Yeah. Don't, don't stand, stand Walt well. Disney. <laughs> but he's dead, so. Yeah. He's not stealing my money. Just his <laughs> frozen head is. <laughs> his frozen head is, exactly. <laughs> when he comes back from his freezing. <laughs> Wait, did they freeze him? Yeah, they froze his head, apparently. Wait, yeah. what? So, basically, okay. <laughs> This is a... Walt Disney, rich man. Yeah. He's like, I want to live forever, so when I die, you guys are going to cry- cryogenically, some, yeah, some word, 
um, freeze, freeze my head. Put me in a freezer. And so they apparently underneath Disney in the tunnels, because there are du- tunnels under Disney. That's how the characters get everywhere. Yeah. They've got a room with frozen Walt Disney. And they did this on iCarly too. I don't know if you guys remember that, but they did an episode about it on iCarly. It was really funny. Um, and he's frozen down there. And so in the future, when they have robots and stuff and they can put him on like a robot body or like a human body because scientists got better, they're going to unfreeze him. So his genius can live forever, as he puts it. Um, except that it's probably not true. <laughs> what makes what, what made him think that we would want to take bring him back? It because, is a conspiracy. Like, because like, he has an ego, and also he was Walt Disney. The, yeah, so, you know, like if I were Walt Disney, I would think that people would want me <laughs> back too. <laughs> um, but this is why they made Frozen, and they called it Frozen instead of Ice Princess, like the original book. Yeah, but Ice Princess doesn't have the same ring well, to Ice it. Queen. Ice Oh, Ice, sorry, yeah, my bad. Okay. No. Ice Queen. Ice Queen. <laughs> doesn't but have the same no, ring but to it. No, but why would they call it Frozen? Because before, if you search Disney Frozen, it would be um, conspiracies about Walt's frozen head. And but now, now if you search, search Disney's Frozen, frozen it's just frozen. frozen. The movie. The movie. It's actually genius. So he's, the, he's you frozen. You could just look up Walt Disney's frozen head, and it gives you the same well, result. Well, yeah, but if you were at... But in Walt Disney Frozen, it's still Frozen the movie. Yeah. Like, it's more difficult to find the sources that you want. Unless you make a very specific search. I've tried it, because I <laughs> was using it for PowerPoint once. <laughs> yeah. Well. I need to get the guest wheel Let's up. get the guest wheel going. Unless there's anything else that we want to throw in there. <laughs> Any final thoughts, Isaac? No. Um, Are you chilling? Currently? Head empty. Head empty, no head thoughts. Head empty, no thoughts. <laughs> Okay, Isaac, here you go. You can spin the wheel. <laughs> spin the wheel. Okay. All right, who's our next guest? You just click the middle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? No way. Zen! Zen, Zen you've <laughs> already been contacted. We look forward to having you on the podcast. I'm so glad we remembered this time around to spin the wheel. <laughs> One thing, when you when you say, like, They've already already been contacted. Yeah. Like when does that mean? Like by the time you post the yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Not in this moment. No. <laughs> but like as soon as we cut the camera, well, we cut the mic. We are like texting our yeah, guests we're like, and like, hey, when are you free? We're gonna do this. Because when I was listening to the podcast, I was like, is it all pre-planned? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Just sometimes. Just sometimes. Um, <laughs> but you weren't. You were random. Yeah. Appreciate that. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Oh, I deleted that. Never. Well, <laughs> RIP wheel, I guess. It's gone. Um, <laughs> After we make it later. Yeah. Um, submit. If you guys want to see us talk about something, send us uh, to our Instagram. Send us a little message. Um, let us know what you want us to talk about. Shout out any to suggestions too. Grace, yeah, Emerson, and Carter for yeah. responding to our poll last week. If you want a, a little name drop shout out, yeah. respond to the poll. <laughs> exactly. Interact with us. We love talking with you. We also have a lot of new listeners from around the world. We have some listeners from Spain, some listeners from Brazil. Yeah. Some the UK, right? From the UK. Yeah. UK, Canada. Canada, the United States. We're going global. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're available on every platform. We're now available on Google, too. Yay. Shout out to Google. Thank you so much for letting us be on your platform. But, yeah, so now we're available everywhere. Um, thank you so much for listening. Hold on. Round of applause for Isaac. <laughs> it was great to have you. Um, Thanks. Pleasure to be here. <laughs>